afternoon, happy Sunday. Welcome to today's live stream. Uh, I hope that the fans don't bother you. I have them going in the background because it's hot here and I'm not very good with heat. Um, so if it, <clears throat> if it starts to really bother anyone, please feel free to let me know. Otherwise, I am going to carry on. And I am working on the Lady Death cover that I am, uh, that I was sketching with you guys last time. And today I am working on the inks. And I'm really looking forward to working on it with you. And thank you so much for taking your time to hang out with me today. Devin, hello, welcome to the stream. How are you doing? Happy Sunday. <clears throat> Just plugging in my phone, grabbing a little bit of water. My God, it's hot. Philip, hello. All right, so I have my trusty pens and oh my goodness, I forgot to throw away my gum again. Oh no. Jeff, hello, Bo, welcome, Rob, Christopher, <clears throat> Steve, hello and welcome. Everybody, I have to jump off the stream for a second and throw away my gum. I'm very sorry that I forgot to take it out of my mouth before going live. Hold, please. <clears throat> there we go. Gum thrown away. <laughs> Hello, Matthias. Welcome to the stream. Very well. My day just got better. Aw. <laughs> Chewing safety is very important. Yes. And also, maybe, I don't know. I, I used to chew gum on the streams, and then I thought maybe that's a little rude, so I stopped doing that. <laughs> anyway, um, I the cover is approved. Hip, hip, hooray. Um, one thing that I was asked to change was the hair that I had before. I don't know if anybody remembers it. Um, so that was the one thing that I made an adjustment on in case you notice that that is now different. Um, honestly, I actually think this looks better. So I'm happy with the, the change. Keeman, Sheila, hello and welcome everyone. Baron, hello and welcome to the stream. <laughs> Mr. E, hello, how are you? Happy Sunday. I, I just saw your previous post right now. Oops. Do I have any copies of the non-hollow foil pumpkin queen? I don't have any at the moment, Baron. I'm sorry. Retro Detox, hello, happy Sunday. <clears throat> so, um, I've got, oh yay, I'm glad you think so, Jeff. So I did a little bit of the fixing. I've also been trying to kind of clean up some of my lines um, and uh, working on the hair. So those are the changes that I made and I had to do some serious erasing to get rid of the previous um, hair sketch without ruining the paper. Um, so at least those things are done. Aw, sorry, Mr. E. You're trying to get your hands on a copy of it. Sorry, Baron. Um, I will eventually get comps, but that might not be for a while still. Thank you, What the Fan Art. Welcome to the stream. Hair today, gone tomorrow. Yes. Okay, so I'm using uh, Copic Multi Liner pens, and these ones are pretty thin. This is 0 0.03, and this one is 0 0.05. So I have these, I also have the refillable Copic mar uh, pens, and then I use the Faber-Castell pens. These ones don't go as thin as the Copic versions do, um, at least the, to the best of my knowledge. The extra small, which is this one, is the smallest that Pitt goes to. Um, I could be wrong though, it's just from what I've seen. And um, it's not quite thin enough for some of the stuff, so that's why I switch to multi-liners sometimes, but the nice thing about the pit pens is that they do give out more ink from my experience. And so when I go to erase all of my sketch lines, less of the ink is pulled off by the eraser on the pit pens. Um, and those are just things that I've noticed in the course of my inking with all these different pens. Someone else may find a completely different situation depending on your paper, your eraser, 
how you pencil, <laughs> um, all of that. But for some reason, I find these to be uh, a little bit better for uh, resisting eraser. You use pit pens. Cool, Sheila. True Deadman. Rob. Schiff. Hello. Finn. Carmen. Uh, watch the Coffin Store. They usually release some in the online store. That Kickstarter just ended recently, so I think by maybe August they may have them. Yeah, that is also a good point. Oh, okay. Oh, thank you, Matt. That really means a ton. I've been so nervous about her shoulder armor. So thank you, truly. Oh no, I'm sorry, Jeff, that it keeps... Okay, so Twitch is glitching for True Deadman and Jeff Martin as well. I'm so sorry, you guys. Thank you all so much for joining, and as usual, a big shout out to Coffin Comics for allowing me the permission to live stream the process. In comic art, non-disclosures are, are kind of a big deal, you know? Um, and so the fact that they're freeing me from that and allowing me to show you guys the process is pretty cool of them. So, mad props to them, and a huge shout out and thank you to Coffin Comics, who this piece is for. Um, so next weekend, I believe, is my deadline. Um, I am running a little bit behind. I kind of started my entire cover run that I'm doing right now behind from the get-go. <laughs> so I've been trying with each cover to kind of shorten the amount of time that I spend on it without, of course, causing any um, lessening of the art, you know? So without hurting the art, I've been trying to move my ass a little faster. Um, but my, my luck hasn't been great this weekend, <laughs> but that's fine. I'm really excited, and I do hope that I will be able to catch up a little bit um, and finish the colors by the end of next week. We'll see. Fingers crossed. So it's hot, and for some reason that makes me very sluggish, so uh, I apologize if I'm a little... <laughs> A little slow, a little sluggish, <laughs> but anyway. Aw, sorry, Jeff. <laughs> Jeff Monette, <laughs> all good. Good times. Christine, hello and welcome. Praise the divine coffin, burying the art stigma. <laughs> yes, they are awesome. The earlier you fall behind, Dawn, the more time you have to catch up. True story. Thank you, David Sorensen. Free advertisement is also a big reason I think Brian allows these covers to be streamed. <laughs> I hope so. Thank you all so much for supporting all of the work that I do. You all are truly amazing, and you make it possible for me to do what I do. So a massive shout out to all of you guys as well. <laughs> Hello, Martin. It's so weird for me to respond to Hey Blondie. <laughs> <laughs> Never thought those words would be directed in my direction. Ever. Not, I'm not complaining. It's just, you know, I, I've been black-haired my entire life until recently. Summer, hello! Okay, so I have this piece of paper here just to um, not put my hand heat on the paper. Um, but... I should be okay because I've got the fan. So I wear a glove. This one I made myself with the help of a seamstress because I don't own a sewing machine. Um, and I wear it to protect the art from my skin um, and to protect the paper. So this is just a cotton sleeve. It, I'm not wearing it because I have any arm situations or pain or anything like that. It's just for the paper. <laughs> Hello, chaotic kindness. You are an integral part of the marketplace. All hail the cons consumer. Yes, that's right. Okay, so I've got um, the way that I have the shoulder armor connected to her is on her neck. 
So a lot of times there will be a strap that's going across the chest. I wanted to keep the boobies free and bouncy. <laughs> so I put it around her neck, just so everybody knows. Oh, happy early birthday, Chaotic. and everyone on Twitch and Facebook. Boy, this is really the thank you day, isn't it? That's awesome. I should have more thank you days for you guys. Um, thank you so much for following me on Facebook and Twitch. Everybody on Facebook, thank you if you comment or share. It makes a huge difference to my page. Um, it's always difficult to kind of keep your page moving and all of that, so the fact that you guys comment on the posts that I do and that you also share them sometimes makes a massive difference. I really notice it. It helps me a lot. So thank you, truly from the bottom of my heart. <laughs> thank you, Christine. And I have not forgotten that a penance stream is in order. Don't worry, you guys. I know that my penance is, is coming d much overdue, actually. And I haven't forgotten I just need to meet my deadlines, and then the penance can commence. Oh, Carmen is on Twitch now. Welcome to Twitch, Carmen. Creative gymnastics us artists go through when we want to make epic armor or clothes, but free the boobies. Always amazes me. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> Approved. Yes, Jason, hair was requested to be changed. But this hair, I so yesterday morning I, I did a like a new sketch of the, the hair and sent that in and that was I was given the green light, so here we go. <laughs> you like to go both ways, nice Carmen. <laughs> try another way for Lady Death's eyeshadow. So with Kerez, which was the cover that I did uh, right before this one, I also gave her some pretty heavy eye makeup, right? Um, and I did that with kind of a dried out pen, and that worked fine. I have zero complaints. It actually worked out really well. Um, this time I just remembered though that I have black colored pencils, so I'm going to give that a shot this time. Um, it might be a little bit more textury, but I'm, I'm cool with that. <laughs> the hair, the loopy looking on the top is great. Thank you, Summer. <laughs> thank you, Jason. Speaking of Lady Death, what you posted yesterday. Aw, thank you. The ground and fire textures. You know what? I used some weird brushes for that with the fan art. I had some, like... It was like dry ink and stuff like that. So that's what I used for that. And then you know what? I actually did um, use a couple uh, photos of fire and I kind of imposed them in. And I think I set the layer to screen or something like that so that it only showed up in certain places and sort of gave the illusion of flame and I layered those all over the place. Um, I think I did that live, I'm not sure. Rocks, hello! See you, Sheila! Have a great week! Okay, so now that I've got most of her armor, the outlines inked in, I'm gonna switch and work on her hair a little bit. I just wanted to... <laughs> 
I wanted to have some of that inked in before I like did a bunch of erasing around and worked on the hair. So I'm just going to really decide um, which, which lines. I need to pick the lines that I have scribbled here. Busty, hello. Yes, it was embedded. So I did that with, um, yeah, I, I bought some pictures of flames. Good evening, Matthew. Thank you so much. So we're just refining a few of the lines from the scribble phase. Um, usually I would have this done before, but because the, um, the hair change was a last minute thing, um, I'm kind of doing this in a weird order. Sorry that my lines, there's a little bit of glare from the light. Maybe, no, oh well. These lines are looking very light, but there are some skulls there. Maybe you guys can see it like this. You did, Devin? I didn't see that. I'll need to go look through Facebook. Yannick, hello. You know what it probably is? Did you tag my personal page? Um, sometimes I'm usually just signed in to my art page. And so I have to switch my sign in and that's probably why I haven't seen it, but I will switch my sign in. I promise. Um, Rob, thank you so much for always posting those into Facebook. I really appreciate it. Rogerio, hello. The left side background with the skulls, are they embedded in the rock? Yes, Carmen. It's kind of a, I'm going for obsidian stone on the throne-esque situation and the skulls are embedded in. So all of this is going to be black and you'll just see little, little bits of the skulls kind of poking out. I think it's kind of common what the fan art. It's, it's one of the only times I've done it, but you know, it really helps. Um, it really helps to to layer things in. Like I've watched a lot of the digital, like fully digital artists that do that. And sometimes they'll use the most random photos for like something that has nothing to do with it, but it just adds this kind of interesting texture to the, to the wall that they're putting the stuff in or something. It's crazy. Oh, yay. Thank you, Jeff. I did, I did really tweak her face this morning. That sounds really dirty. Don't have a dirty mind when you hear that. She must have a strong neck on those shoulders. <laughs> I know, right, Summer? <laughs> I think it ended up right under the right hand. Yes, you are under the right hand. This is you. This one up here is Devin. Anusol, hello. <laughs> Yay, Rox, thank you. I was definitely going for like, Regal ish situation? Who knows? All right, so um, coloring this is going to be a challenge, but you guys will be here for that too. I may want to pitch a fit and throw my Cintiq. Sometimes it happens. <laughs> I've never thrown my Cintiq. I feel like it, yes. Exactly, Rob. <laughs> True, Matthew. Never a dirty mind here on Twitch. Never, ever. <laughs> so, um, yeah, trying, I'm, my goal is to make her thrown a situation which is really just a pile of skulls in rock. I'm not really making it look like a perfect chair or anything like that. And my plan with it is to make it look like obsidian. Um, and so that's like a really shiny black rock. And shiny is, is, is tricky for me, you know, like latex is really difficult. And I'm assuming I just decided to make myself a, a throne that is the same basic 
shine property is latex or leather and that's not going to be easy but i'm really going to do my best on it because i think it will look so cool <laughs> oh devin sent the link okay hold please i'm gonna go look at what devin has sent Sparkly is super, yeah, sparkly is super easy. Shiny, I, I find very difficult. Thank you for your trust, Yannick. I appreciate that. All right, Devin sent me the link of the, oh, fun, the shirt cut meme. <laughs> the inner side boob, side boob, boob window. Under boob, free spin. <laughs> I love that. Thank you. <laughs> I'm so sorry that I missed that. Okay, carrying on. All right, I think I've got a decent enough plan of the uh, hair now. So I've switched to my 0 0.05 pen. Don, will our names be on the skulls and discuss? Oh, well, I'm not going to actually put your names on the skulls. I just assigned them to you. I can't exactly do that. I don't have that sort of power. Did I see your shirt cut meme? You know what? I may not have registered that it was a shirt cut meme. I think I need to go back and take a look. <laughs> the power... <laughs> wants a skull <laughs> okay um carmen we need to give you a skull all right uh hopefully everybody remembers where they were because we need to assign a skull to carmen and i kind of just randomly assigned to people on the last stream please don't be offended if i forget where you were okay so this was devin this was jason coates this one was jeff over here I want a horny spike. Of course you do, Hanu Soul. Can I have the small? Oh, nicely done, Rox. That one is not claimed. Yes, so this skull belongs to Rox. Uh, Jeff says, put her beside me. Okay, so Jeff is right here. So Carmen, uh, I think that this one is Mr. E. Jeff is here. This one is Jason Coates. Yeah, well, just for funsies, I've been assigning skulls to people on the live streams if they want it. You're going to have to remember which one is you. I can't leave your name on the art. <laughs> it's true. Rocks chose well. Can I have the one on the armor? I don't have one on the armor. This one Rocks just claimed. Carmen, you put a little bug in my ear about making one of her earrings a skull. So do you want to be the skull ear earring? <laughs> my skull would be one that she's sitting on. Yes. And you know what? Um, let's see. Okay. Uh, Juan said the same thing, and so he's somewhere under here. So Robert Dean and Juan are somewhere under the booty, and I, I will allow it. Mr. E tried to choose the skull that's way down here that you can't even see. I did not allow that. Um, so I didn't allow that one. So we're going to do, everybody's going to need to remember. You're going to have to remember for me, though, because I'm super shitty at remembering stuff like this. So Carmen is the earring. Devin is this one. Rox is here. I think I, did I tell Mr. E, I think I made this one right here. True Deadman wants a hidden one, so you want to be under, the, under her butt as well. 
Hello, Stanley. No, that's great that you were spending time at the Japanese restaurant. That sounds fun. All right, True Deadman is under here with Juan and Rob. <laughs> So these skull claims are like NFTs. Sure. <laughs> when you get the piece signed, people, you, by art law, must get it signed on your skull. You're under the one, okay. Oh, so this one is, this one is Matthew. Which one is Mr. E? Was this one Mr. E maybe? Can Syl and I be the two next to Jeff? Yes. Uh, you can be these two or these two. Philip, I think I made over here. I can't be under there, Dawn. I'd have to be over in the corner. <laughs> no, you're, you won't be sent to the corner for this one. Can I zoom out? Yes, I can. All right, here we go. This is the full piece. I'm sorry it's very light. Let me just turn away for a second with the, the light, just so it's not causing a glare on the art. Yes, Hanu Soul, you can be the big shoulder spike. The first two you pointed at. Okay, you and Syl are here. When, if this one comes out as a print, I'll need to track down all the boopers for Siggies. <laughs> All right, people, please remember who you are and where you are because I'm going to be super shit at this. You need a sticky with scald locations documented. Fine. Way to get me to not be drawing and shooting the shit and goofing off with you guys. <laughs> can I be the flowy hair? Yes, you can be the flowy hair summer. <laughs> All right, here we go. This is... Jeff, Jeff, right there. Arting has become quite optional, yes. All right, here we're gonna do Carmen S. Carmen S is right here. <laughs> All right, now we're gonna do rocks, R-O-X-X. -X is right in the boobies. Rocks. <laughs> Didn't you say you're behind? I am absolutely behind. Yes, you got the earrings, Carmen. Okay, and then summer. <laughs> summer, I'm gonna do S-U-M-M -M for summer so that she can see that and that is hair. All right, summer is up there. <laughs> Oh, man. <laughs> oh, yes. True Deadman. All right. TD. Rob. JS is Juan Solo. Are under the booty. All right. Robert Dean, what were you again? Sill is on top of me. Okay, so we're gonna do Sil, I L, and Baron B H is you, Baron. Sil B H right there. Hello, Doctor Dark. <laughs> we have we have one hundred percent um gone off the rails. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Robert Dean is shoulder. Robert Dean is the shoulder and Hanu Soul is the spike. Okay, so RD for Robert Dean. RD for Robert Dean. <laughs> Absolutely, we have completely... <laughs> I've got to be protective of my skull right under the hand, yes. J C for Jason Coates, right here. Okay, Mr. E is being very quiet. I was at the bottom looking up. Right, you're this one, right? 
Oh, and then it was Matthew, right? All right, so it's Matthew. Mr. E. And Matthew, Matthew, what's your what's your last name, Matthew? I'm gonna have to uh, scroll up and find Matthew. Matthew Rump. Okay, so M R. M R. And Mr. E. So Mr. E, you're this one. Matthew Rump. I think is how you pronounce it. You're that. One. <laughs> Okay, wait, and then Robert Dean I have, and then I need to do Hanu Soul. Philip, which one were you again? Robert Dean is the shoulder, and then Hanu Soul is the spike. And then what the fan art, I think, decided he's claiming boobies. Claim the death bra. I'm second skull from the top on the back of the chair. Oh, right. Okay. So we're doing Devin. So he's port fan. So I'm going to do PF. And then Wood Dragon Philip is WP. Port fan. And Wood Dragon Philip. No, they're not all taken. I get a gold star, yay! Soup avoidance, hello and welcome! Second skull, okay, so I got Philip. Um, okay, and then what the fan art, WFA, has decided he's the bra. God, you guys, the foolishness has gotten completely out of control. They're double these or bigger, you get one boob, what the fan art. <laughs> One boot. <laughs> no, they are not all taken, Dr. Dark. Did I miss somebody? Can I claim the one at the very bottom? This one right here? Yes, I can do D, D, D. Unless I've missed someone. D, D. Dr. Dark is here. Your reach did exceed your grasp. It did. <laughs> you get one boob. <laughs> Juan is here. So I have JS for Juan Solo. I, I will allow under the booty because it's very much a damn thing to say. But I was not going to allow you the little one over there, mystery. You had to be somewhere more in the center. You'd like the left facing profile. Which one? This one? Or this one? There are two. Actually, there are three. Okay, so Rob has now decided he's no longer under the butt. Rob has given up his under the butt spot. In the middle, okay, so this is Rob, Rob, okay, Rob is this one, We ha and we have one more skull available right here, and we have a few skulls available over here, but they are leaving fast. Let's see how many we have left. We have one, we have the one boob, one boob is available, one, two, three, Four, five, no, four, five. We have five skulls left and one boob. You can claim one, Lance. <laughs> or is it reserved for special followers? If them, so there's one available, I have no preference which one. I just want to be part of the group. Welcome, Lance. <laughs> Justice, we have gone completely off the rails. None of this is making sense anymore, but, uh, Everybody wants to, to pick something in the cover. <laughs> All right, I'm going to just pull, tear off this bottom piece of the paper. All my, oh, Steve, okay. Steve claimed the other booby, SB. SB. 
Aw, oh, that's so awesome, Summer. I'll put the stream on my phone and rant a stitch. She's so confused about what's going on. Oh, I know. Trying to explain this to anyone is just, like, the worst. Soup avoidance? Just pick one. I'll take a skull or a boob. Okay. <laughs> put me on there. Okay. J.I. Who else was I supposed to? All right. Justice, this is your... Yours right here, Justice. You're right there. There's a skull right here. I'll zoom in so everybody gets to see where they are. Who did I miss? Supa. <laughs> okay, S-U-P, S-U-P. That's you, Supa Avoidance. Okay, Supa Avoidance, I'm putting you right here. S-U-P. Okay, there was one other person that said, I know, poor Brian. He would just be like, what? the hell is Dawn doing? I don't want to get my, like, live streaming revoked, people. <laughs> okay, soup avoidance, I have placed you on Lanced. Okay, you are part of the nonsense. Welcome to the nonsense group. L-A-N is what I'm calling you. L-A-N, and I am putting you right here, Lanced. All right, we have Two skulls left. <laughs> okay, and we've got a few people. James Garrison, I'm so sorry. <laughs> we have gone completely nonsensical, and everyone is claiming something here that they are. So that's what's happening, James Garrison. Nothing is changing about the original art. This is literally just for shits and giggles. <laughs> Yes, Isabel, you can claim a skull. We have um, one left. No, two left. So Isabel gets one. <laughs> Isabel, I-S-A, I-S-A, B-E-L. Okay, Isabel, I am giving you this one right here. Juan claimed under the butt. Moreno, hello and welcome. Just tell them that these are the new Copic colors. <laughs> Just make sure you take a picture because there's a test on the next stream. Oh no. Okay, yes. JM I have. Sil BH Lanced. We have one left. <laughs> Brian would probably claim something, too. It's true. <laughs> yes, Robin. Well, no. Oh, Kara and Kylie. Okay. So we're going to do... Oh, no. I'm putting them down so low. Okay. Kara. So she's Boopley Quinn. BQ. And... Kylie, K-Y-L. All right, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to make them the spears. These two spears that we see right there, they are the spears. <laughs> okay, so here we go. Because the, otherwise they're just the way off in the tiny corner, and I, I feel bad. I don't want to make them in the tiny corner. All right, screen grab it, people. I will take a photograph. <laughs> but you're gonna need to remember who you are and where you are oh my god and leslie okay well you know what we have one more skull leslie i'm assigning you a skull real quick l e s you don't even need to understand why leslie our nonsense makes no no sense all right you know what i'm gonna do michelle as well because there's one tiny little bit of a skull left, so it's Leslie and Michelle right there. <laughs> Excuse, mystery, go to the corner. That is banned talk. We need to zoom out just a little bit. Rob, you were here. Then you decided you didn't want to be under the butt anymore, and so you're over here. 
I know, Leslie, you came in at the end of just a massive amount of nonsense, but I'm still assigning you a spot, even if you don't know why. All right, screen grab it. The nonsense is about to be removed. <laughs> Here we go, I'm taking a quick pick. <laughs> all right, all done. Now I need to remove this and actually get to work. <laughs> God damn it. Remember who you are, remember where you were. <laughs> Hello, Adam. No, you didn't get it, Summer. <laughs> Summer, you were here. About dead time you got to work, woman. Excuse me. <laughs> All right, I hope everybody got Yachu Deadman. <laughs> I hope everyone got themselves a screen grab of your position. <laughs> and you know who you are. And it's just gonna have to be our little secret because of course this is, none of this is gonna be on the cover. So you can just have your own little personal attachment. It can be our secret. Does Lady Death use hairspray to hold that? You know what? I think uh, William Tom, her hair is just magically that way. Oh my God, Matthew. Guys, on Facebook, Matthew says, remember when we used to come here to watch Dawn work? Good times. I have not fully drawn the skull earring yet, Carmen. <laughs> but it will be happening. The, the, its placement is held. There's a little circle there. It was never about her work. What? Don't tell me that. <laughs> Jamie Tyndall, hello. You came at just the perfect time. If you had been here, you know, three minutes earlier, I would have been so ashamed of myself and my non-arting. <laughs> oh, sorry. Okay, well, I will, um, I did get a good picture of it. I'm already making a sign that says Steve was here. <laughs> Of course you would. All right, light is coming back now. Kabam. Let's turn it down a little bit. <laughs> Adam, hello. Jin, welcome. You know, Jamie, I'm not entirely sure. I need to check that out. I'm not doing NYCC. Can you send a pic out in your weekly email? It's gonna be so tiny, you probably won't be able to like make anything out of it. Okay. Jamie Tyndall is in the Facebook chat. That's right. Um, I did sign up for C2E2 and Emerald City Comic Con. I won't know if I've been accepted into the show until I think August or something like that. All right, now I'm not gonna be so fun because I'm gonna be looking down and drawing. You guys can entertain yourselves. <laughs> are you not entertained? Cons are happening again. I know. Sounds good, I have to grab and run. Oh, yummy. See you at Emerald and C2E2. 
so much love to you, Jamie. Thank you for stopping by. Oh, Mr. E, you can come out of the corner now. <laughs> yeah, you know, I'm supposed to send this off for flats tonight, according to my schedule. That doesn't mean that... I will, Jamie. Much love to you and your wife. Um, what was I going to say? I can't remember. Oh, yes. Uh, according to my hopeful timetable, I was planning to have this sent off for flats before I go to bed tonight. That is not looking probable, unfortunately. <gasps> Nader, hello! Che, welcome to the stream today. Happy Sunday. Tried to clean it up for Dawn's chat. Now I'm wondering why. What? Thank you, Raphael. Lady Death and Flats are a contradiction of terms. Trying to cook dinner and watch Dawn. Hopefully I don't get in trouble for burning the food again. Oh no, Leslie. <laughs> You're having Cinnabon for dessert. That sounds so good. I hope your booth is close to Jamie. It'll make it convenient. <laughs> that would be so awesome. Will this be a print on your site in the future? In the, in the distant future, probably. I do have permission for a limited amount to have on my site. Is this the only version or are you to do a risque one as all of blah blah? I have suddenly been become incapable of reading. 
Um, yes, there, I will be doing an alternate version as well, Hanusol. Jay Taylor, hello, I'm doing well. <laughs> I know. I have really not been doing great in the English department. Thank you so much, Hanu Soul. You did, Jay? Thank you. I'm so glad you like it. I got to see it yesterday for the first time, like actually printed, and I'm super happy with how it printed. <laughs> I'm glad you were as well, Summer. And that the chat was working well enough for you to claim something. I'm super happy about that. <laughs> Clever Siza Lima, thank you. Marcus, hello. Still do your art show three times weekly. Yep, I'm trying my best to keep up with three times a week. I think the correct term is moobs. Oh my god. <laughs> <clears throat> Jay, I don't count the, the, the hours or how long it takes. I just, the, there are two important things, that I do my best and that I meet the deadline. And so those are the things that I focus on, not exactly how, many, how much time it took me. <laughs> Poor Leslie. <laughs> <laughs> it takes Dawn much longer when she has to name all the skulls. <laughs> True story.
Are there other artists or mediums that you draw inspiration from? Yes. Uh, many different artists. I think I'm currently running it following on Instagram. I follow a bunch of artists and let's see how many people I'm following. 1,191 artists. So all, all over the map. I, um, I find inspiration from like abstract paintings to uh, more cartoon style art. I love uh, anime and manga. Um, and then, of course, there are many comic book artists that have had a massive impact on my career as well. So, yeah, definitely. <laughs> Her moves <laughs> heavier than boobs. I'm not qualified to answer that question. So I'm kind of thinking to almost make her bra, and I don't know, possibly even this, um, the same obsidian color. Juan, you missed so much nonsense. Now I'm going to be all serious and shit and get some work done, but it's okay. We didn't forget you. Your placement was reserved under the booty. <laughs> Aw, thank you so much, Matthias. Good morning, Robin. Looking beautiful. What happened to the ponytail? That did not pass approval. So as, as I hope you guys remember, I was sketching out the cover, but it was still pending approval. So that one didn't fly. He used to have his stuff in galleries in DC. Oh, that's so cool, Jay. <laughs> Speaking of, of art in, um, in um, museums in DC, I was reading about the, um, the sculptor who did that um, something ex nilu sculptor, let me see. Sculpture from All right, so the original one was done by Frederick Tart. X Ninilo or something like that is called N I N I L O and I read um I read about how he got the job to do that sculpture and it was just like, wow, that is so cool. Anyway, loved that story. <laughs> oh my God, Juan, TMI. Found your stuff on Pinterest. Oh, thank you, Nikki. Welcome to the stream. So anyway, I know I'm not really uh, saying everything clear, but like I was reading about Frederick Hart on Wikipedia, just for out of interest, you know? And he's a, he was like a self-taught sculptor. And um, if you're interested in like somebody that really never gives up, this, th this guy I found so inspirational to me, you know? Um, and he went and got himself a job at, in like the mail room of a cathedral and he was trying to get uh, to work under the like head sculptor um, as an apprentice and you know he had no 
traditional training in being a sculptor or anything like that. And he basically just pestered the, the head sculptor into letting him apprentice for him. He just got a job anywhere in there just to be able to get the to you know pester the guy into hiring him and i think that that kind of determination is so impressive anyway i think that his um ex ninilo uh sculpture is what was heavily influenced in that sculpture behind uh in the devil's advocate you guys have just gone fully off the rails. I'm trying to be all like talking to you about sculptures and you're talking about, I'm not even going to say it out loud. <laughs> you guys are the worst. Anyway, for anyone who actually is not delving into nonsense, um, look up Fed Frederick Hart. His, uh, he's really, really fascinating. And the whole story about how he got that job, so much dedication. Thank you, Rox. You have not descended into complete nonsense. <laughs> Annoying people into a job is a rare case to getting a job. True story, for sure. But I, I respect the determination. <laughs> Love you, Juan. And then I think he, you know, this is me definitely like um, paraphrasing and I may not get all of my facts completely straight, but then they hosted some sort of competition in Washington, D.C. of who was going to get to do this special sculpture for like a west facing something or other of a giant building in D.C. And so they held a competition and everybody, you know, submitted what they wanted to do. And he did not get chosen even into like going forward into the next round of the competition. He didn't make it uh, and he didn't give up. He kept working and came up with a whole new concept. And even though he was not invited into the next round of the competition, he competed anyway and won the job. Again, determination. That is like... So awesome. Facts are meant to be made up. Well, you know, you can all go check, fact check me, but it was something like that. And that was when he did the ex Nilo um, sculpture. Yeah. E X N I H I L O. But Dawn, we come here specifically for your detailed news and accuracy. Yeah. <laughs> Fair enough. That does sound a little bit ridiculous when it's spoken back to me. As if anyone's coming here for accuracy. Dangerous spike shoulder armor of the figure. Oh, thank you so much, Marcus. 74% of all facts are made up on the spot. <laughs> you do always succeed. Shit. Where was I even working? Oh, yes, boobies. Leslie, you're so sweet. <laughs> it's true. This is your side. That's right, Steve.
It must have been a bummer to be one of the contenders who made it into the next round, only to be beaten by a contestant who had been removed from the contention already. True. I didn't kind of think about that. I was just like so much mad respect. Like if I had not won the first round of the competition, I would have stopped and been like, okay, you know, universe has spoken, point taken. I'm gonna go crawl over here and be sad for a moment. <laughs> I would never keep going. I don't, at least I don't think so, you know? So that kind of determination just really speaks to me, but it's true. It must have been a bit of a bummer for everybody else. Lift and separate. <laughs> no, right now we're not lifting and separating. We're lifting and smooshing, Steve. It's different. I mean, some people succeed in comics after printing pages on printer paper. I drew the pages on printer paper. Like, whatever's in your office printer. <laughs> That's very sweet, Rob. Thank you. Thank you, Travis. Yes. Code name Smoosh for the boobies. That's right, Nikki. Are there any specific pens and pencils that you swear by? Yes, Jay. I actually have the list on my about page on um, my website because some of them, you know, I'll list them here um, and then you're going to have to look them up. So um, it's easier if you just get the, um, the names from off of my about page. And then for every live stream, in every live stream that I do, I put a list of the tools that I'm using as comprehensively as I can whenever I'm getting ready to go live. So you can always check that as well. Oh, thank you, Cosmic Newt. Welcome to the stream. Yeah, Marcus, uh, this week in Calgary, it's set, like the weather forecast is that we are going to be getting a hotter day than has ever happened in recorded history here in Calgary. It's going to be, I think, Wednesday. Is Wonder Booty new? No, that's an old piece. <laughs> Very true, Mr. E. <laughs> Canadian heat wave sweatshirt weather in Arizona. Hmm, maybe. I don't know, man. It's going to be 37 here on Wednesday, at least according to the forecast. The hottest it's ever been in recorded history here in Calgary is 36. So 37 is going to be, you know... There's going to be many complaining Calgarians. <laughs> and then you see our houses, because we live in the, in the north where it's extremely cold, or at least, you know, far north, far south, we're far north, right? And then also far south gets very cold. So anyway, in Calgary, um, the, um, 
our houses are built to keep heat in because, you know, six to eight months out of the year is winter time. <laughs> so they're not very good at circulating when you're trying to actually cool your house down. You know, the, the, it, to me, it feels like the windows do nothing. <laughs> and your house is kind of built to be like a greenhouse. That's like 90s. Don't laugh at me, Juan. It's really hot. I'm very afraid. <laughs> nice, cool breeze for us. <laughs> you guys, you know what? Feel sorry for me anyway, goddammit. No, I have two fans. I'm good on the fans. It's just, you know... Our houses are made to stay warm and to keep heat in. So the minute the house gets warm, the house, our house is just like, okay, I've done my job. I'm piecing out for the rest of the day. No, we do not have AC. <laughs> Your house is built to cook you in the summer and freeze you in the winter. <laughs> I do have a fan in the window. Wow, Nikki. No, thank you with the fan art. But it's okay, you know what? We have a basement level in our house and it's quite nice and cool down there. So we are going to all be camping in the living room in the basement. <laughs> I need some cheese to go with that wine. <laughs> Sherlock is not very good with the heat. He gets extremely sluggish. Laura keeps trying to carry him down into the basement, but then we're kind of all upstairs, so Sherlock just comes right back because he wants to be where we are, which is, aw, sweet kitty. But he's super sluggish. You can tell that he's not loving his life. So we're going to try to keep carrying him downstairs to the basement where it's considerably cooler. We got your record B already. Right now it's 42 centigrade. Oh, mystery. I couldn't see. I couldn't do that. Bless your heart. exactly can you tell when Sherlock is more sluggish? Well, just, I mean, you know, I'm grading on the Sherlock curve. <laughs> Are you serious, Steve? You're going there next week? Oh, yay! So I think I'm going to go ahead and fill this part in because I do want that to be black leather. The Sherlock curve is more like a blimp. <laughs> Hello Fabrizio, welcome to the stream. So these are my fill in pens. They're really great. I can kind of control their thickness a little bit so it helps me feel a little bit more comfortable when I'm filling something in that I'm not going to get some sort of miss a line that's not where I intended for it to be or something like that. Happiness. Tom, yeah, he must not be here today. He's probably got his kiddos. <laughs> it is quite impressive, Hanusol. You made a good choice. Thank 
you, Aaron. Welcome to the stream. Thank you for stopping in to say hi and have a great week. Second, request good thoughts from all. Mom going into hospice care tomorrow. Aw, Rob, so much thoughts, hugs, and love for you. I'm so very sorry. I hope that it goes well, and I'm wishing you lots of strength and love through all of this. Welcome. Thank you so much for stopping in. Now about that Wonder Bo Booty 2.0 and Penance Spanks Spanks stream. <laughs> yes. What can you not unsee? Uh-oh. Is there something here? Almost looks like a unicorn. Oh, okay, yes. I'm okay with that. my wife. Jay Allen, hello! No, I do not know what Coffin's plans are for it. Um, I just know my deadline and that's about it. Accidental art is very special. tiny little skull. Donald, hello! It's a good thing. <laughs> Thank you, Rox. My pen is starting to dry out. I'm going to need to go buy myself some more pens. I'm pretty sure this one's going to last. Maybe I have a couple more. I do have a couple more. Yay! I look different with light colored hair. Yes. I, uh, I'm, it, 
transitioning to gray hair, <laughs> which is what I have a lot of. I know, just what Dan wants to hear. There have been lots purchased that are slated to be covered some pop up a month or two later. The longest one was about a year, so just a matter of time. Yes. <laughs> oh, that's funny, Leslie. <laughs> Thank you, Donald. No, you guys, no. I just have to reactivate it a little bit and then it's just fine. Check out those tomboy racers. They are amazing, Jay. Will you be using some shimmering? I'm not planning on it, Marcus. When you ink, do you have any specific order you go in? Top to bottom, body, then background. Is there a general inking rule to follow or do you just jump around between what interests you at any moment in time? The end of that statement, Jay Allen, absolutely. When I was a brush inker, I did follow a little bit more of a pattern and I would work from top, top down, left to right, because I'm right-handed. So it was the never sticking my hand in the fresh ink. Um, now I bop around wherever I feel like and I get bored easily, so I move all around. Um, and I will just, um, you know, I try to never allow myself to ink on the face um, first because my hand is not warmed up. So I will at least try to start on something that is not um, extremely important. Dawn, how do you reactivate the pen? No, I just scribble in place somewhere where it needs to, where it doesn't really matter. So it'll be dry and I'll just re-ink a spot that maybe needs a little bit more line weight. <laughs> Gotta go for down <laughs> Hello, Kevin! I've kind of got like weird straps on her hands. They're, um, I guess just leather-ish straps. I don't know. Think gauze straps, but I won't make them look like gauze. Are you guys like calling out shit that I said that turned out to be double meaning? Of course, were you not serious, Rob? I mean, Hanusol? Oh my god, have you guys just been laughing at me? 
I am the in serious art mode now. So you could get me to. <laughs> You would never do that. You guys totally are. <laughs> Just making fun of me. What? I thought that was a serious art question. I really should have known better. <laughs> I will not, Hanusol. <laughs> Oh, they so are on Twitch, Kevin. <clears throat> Excuse me. They're judging. A, we're only judging a little. Nah, you're judging a lot, man. <laughs> I'm trying to be serious and be a serious artist here. And just nobody is, they're just laughing and <laughs> getting me to sh say shit. <laughs> God damn it. <clears throat> You do always try to mess with me. <laughs> Sarcasm detector is missing. Call manufacturer for new parts. I have no right. I really don't have one. <laughs> oh, I know, Jay Allen. It's everybody on Twitch that is being full of nonsense and beans. Hello, Torzilla! Welcome to the stream! Jay Allen calls you guys filthy twitchers. <laughs> Hence the horny shoulder spike for you. Yes, absolutely, Hanu Soul. <laughs> oh, thank you, Roger. Um, I honestly don't know where any of those covers are. I have long since um, depleted my stock of them, so it's kind of maybe Coffin Comics might have some of those. <gasps> Jay Allen, everyone on Twitch seems to like the term filthy twitchers. Absolutely rocks. <laughs> I know! There's 65% love between Rob and my serious arting. Nice! <laughs> I agree, Rob. So I actually didn't really plan out her arm bandages. <laughs> so
so I'm kind of trying to wing it on them and maybe hopefully they won't turn out looking really bad. <laughs> Was there a question about past covers? I have tracked down quite a few of the previous covers, made offers, owners are mixed to incoming offers. Okay, they're looking for the, um, hold please, I'm gonna need to scroll up. All right, Roger Sony is wondering uh, if I can help track down some of my previous work, Tribal Commission Edition Extinction Express number zero. Lady Death with the Headdress. So, um, that's the one that they're trying to find. I literally don't know where to find my old work. See you later, Robert. Have a good night and a fantastic week. Thank you, Baron. Oh, okay, um, uh, let's see, Roger, Jason Coates on Twitch says that he's trying to track it down, might have a lead. Also, uh, Baron on Twitch says, ask Hooligan for help. I hear he's good at that. Nice. Thank you all so much for your assistance with this. All right. I've got the sunshine situation that's coming through. Um, so I'm just turning down the light a little bit, and we're going to take down some of the saturation. Only 44 of them, that is correct. And I don't believe that they've ever been reissued in any other type of paper or anything like that. Aw, thanks, Rox. All right, Art Cam, fixing it up a little bit because we are dealing with our evening glow that is very pretty when you look out the window, but it makes the art look really strange to me. So I'm going to take down some of the white balance so it's not quite so warm colored in here. There we go. Done. The Boop Squad Private Eye Department. Yes. Zane, hello. Welcome to the stream. Yes, it is, Philip. That is correct. You got your badge and a bag of Cheez-Its. Yay!
Puck Grilled Cheese and Movie Night. See you later, Hanu Soul. Thank you so much for stopping in. It's always so fun to have you here. <clears throat> you can make the bandages like the ones boxers use under their boxing gloves, but in leather. Kind of. You know, I'm sort of just being random with it. Marshen, I don't think so. I don't think I've drawn a female Night Lord. I'm not entirely sure what Night Lord is. Being random with it, is that a step up from winging it? I think it's a step down from winging it. <laughs> I don't know though. not approved though. Ah, uh, thanks Marchen. I hope I'm pronouncing your name correctly. When you're drawing a new Lady Death piece, do you already have an idea of what you want her to look like? Or do you have to look around for references before you put pen to paper? Or do you just start drawing and these pieces end up being awesome by accident? This time what I tried to do is um, I listened to badass music to get me really in the, the correct headspace. Then I have uh, folders on Pinterest that I look at of other art from all different genres that inspires me and kicks me in the ass to try to do better and push forward and be more, I don't know, brave and think outside the box and, you know, all that kind of stuff just inspires me to not be lazy. Um, and then what I do is I have a lot of my layouts that I save. And so a lot of them are just random sketches of poses that, you know, didn't get used or um, I didn't even submit for approval. I have my little folder of layouts and sketches. And that sometimes helps spark ideas for me. 
uh, and this time, but no, I did not listen to K-pop. <laughs> K-pop I do really enjoy, but I didn't listen to K-pop. I'd say probably the two main songs that I listened to, or the main song, let me, let me get the name of it, Hold Please. You guys can be disappointed in me and my taste in music, that's okay. Um, I listen to, in this moment, of course, because they are awesome sauce. And I also listen to, I've got a few other songs in here. So I've got some from Otep, some from, let me see, Palais Royale, P-A-L-A-Y-E, and then second word, R-O-Y-A-L-E. I really like their Tonight is the Night I Die, I Die song. It's like my favorite. Um... So I, I did all of that to try to like bring on the like badass. I did have art notes that I needed to keep in mind, but I'm not trying to give away anything. So I'm not going to say what those art notes were um, or like what Lady Death is supposed to emulate here because I'm not wanting to ruin anything as far as the story goes. I do love K-pop. I listened to K-pop when I was doing all the cyberpunk covers because I felt like that was a good headspace for me to be in there. I hope that answers your question. All right, let's see. <laughs> Looks like you have no more room to hang on your wall. I'll be happy to hang this on mine. It'll still be yours, but just hanging on my wall. Ah, oh, nice proposal, Juan. <laughs> just like how Chuck only listened to the Nine Inch Nails closer album while he was writing Fight Club. Interesting. He looks good. <laughs> Wayne, I didn't know you were here. Hello. We had an air conditioner that was here in the window. Then we took it out because it was rattling in the window all year round for use on one or two days. You tried falling in reverse. I'm not a vampire revamped. Are they also from Palais Royale? I have Little Bastards, Tonight is the Night I Die, Mad World, Nightmares in Paradise, and Anxiety from them. This is just my little playlist that I've started putting together for when I really need some badass brain time. Um, and then it's mostly in this moment. <sighs> Falling in reverse is a band. Ah, okay, well, I'll write it down. I don't think I have. Falling in reverse. F A L O in reverse. I'm not very musically adventurous. I have to warn everybody. I'm kind of um, I'm kind of weird about it. I'd sooner re-listen to something over and over and over and over and over again than try anything new. I'm quite the worst when it comes to that stuff. Anxi anxiety, just what you should listen to to get the creative juices flowing. True. Thank you, Marcus. I plan to put a lot of frames in my office at home, but the walls have so much wires and electrical stuff that it is impossible to put them up. Aw, sorry, Rox. David Kick, hello.
welcome back. I hope you guys like the the color scheme that I've kind of got kicking around in my head and I actually submitted my layout with color this time mostly so that Brian could get an idea of what this is because otherwise it looks a little bit like a clock or a wall ornament which is not really where I'm going with it um, David kick this doesn't actually have a size it's just extra small um, so yeah, I, once I'm coloring it, I'll show you guys the layout so you can kind of see what I've got planned for it. So like in a lot of these honeycomb sections, there's actually going to be blood pouring out and down. Uh, and this red strip is, yeah, <laughs> I just said it. <laughs> this strip is gonna be red cloth. It's an obsidian throne. Um, and I will, um, and then around her head, or behind her head here is going to be a warm golden light. So hopefully it's going to be cold and warmth right up there. Red drippy paint with Dawn is awesome. <laughs> Looks like she didn't let the skull she's sitting on bite her cheek. We can have a temporary bite mark, but it cannot remain permanent. No way I'm learning how to draw. That's super cool. Ah, I see, Wayne. I thought maybe you were um, not watching the streams. <laughs> it's not a surprise that red will be a prominent color. Well, you know, I'm hitting it from a different angle this time. It's a side swoop, Steve. <laughs> Look at me and my, like, original self. <laughs> the background in pencils reminds of a gothic version of the Aztec sunstones. Oh, cool. I'm also okay with that. I might try using one of my brush pens. It needs to be one of the new ones, which is definitely not that. Let's see. Yeah, this is one of my newer ones. 45 minutes till dinner time. Whoop, whoop. And we have our dessert for this week is cookies and cream ice cream sandwiches. I'm very excited. But is there ramen in the future this week? Very good question, Rob. I, I, I made it for my ramen this Saturday though. I did all of my five workouts. So proud. <laughs> Hello, Emmanuel in Mexico. Welcome to the stream this afternoon. Happy Sunday. The color scheme sounds good to you, yay. Well, I really hope that I can pull it off in the coloring. I'm going to try to maybe even give it a little bit more of a digital painterly look in some of the background elements as opposed to sticking so closely to my actual ink lines, which makes it a little bit tricky, you know, to kind of take an inked cover that's more comic style and try to make it a little bit more digital painterly or i'm sure it's not tricky i've just never really done it before and i don't know if i will carry on with that plan once i start in the photoshop realms we'll see you once told us the coffin comics gives artists out like lady death 
Bible that has rules on how to draw her height, weight, chest size. Does that Bible also have rules about what colors you can can't use? No, I don't think so. I don't remember Jay Allen, but no. I mean, she has her theme color. She's black and red. <laughs> Mer Mercy Coral. I hope I'm saying your name correctly. Welcome to the stream. As long as it's not mental stud construction, you should quit. I'm sure I'm not the only one that hears I've never done this before and will think, aw, well that's very sweet, <laughs> Zane. Do you prefer to do your own coloring? All the digital colorists that I have worked with are extremely gifted and extremely busy. So um, that's why I started doing my own coloring. I can't say that I actually love digital coloring, but it is, I, I am able to um, kind of figure things out a little bit more. Like before when I was doing, um, when I was sending my covers out to be colored by somebody else, for starters, I got a lot more covers done. So that's one thing, you know, your, your, your output gets cut in half because it takes me about as long to color the cover as it does for me to draw it, you know? Because I'm still not very experienced in digital coloring and I way overthink it, I'm sure. I am, I am excited and happy about the learning opportunities that I have, though. <laughs> That's very sweet, Zane. <laughs> I, I don't feel like I'm there yet. But it does make it possible for me to try out different ideas without wasting a colorist's time. Because sometimes I would send in an art note and be like, okay, so the plan is for this background to be pink. And then it comes back, they send it back to me, and then I've wasted their time because I'm like, actually, pink doesn't work. Let's make it blue like we probably should have from the beginning. You know, that kind of thing. It's just then I'm wasting a colorist time. This way I can kind of do it, do that shit on my own time. <laughs> yes, there is power in numbers. Have you ever been asked to only color a piece? It would seem like a waste the Balfour were asked to only color and not actually draw a lady death piece. I have not actually been asked to be colorist only, uh, except for one time I colored something for, correct me if I'm wrong, Devin, I don't mean to, um, I don't mean to lie about this, but as far as I recall, I've only served as colorist only on one cover for Ebess that was pr published by Rothick. Um, and then, uh, I think that's it. Correct me if I'm wrong, if somebody else remembers something, but I'm not actually a colorist. Has a big, okay, let's see, it's a good idea. Oh, okay, so you guys are talking about the frames. With digital, I mean, yes and no, Devin. It's an easy swipe and sweep of the hue and saturation thing, but sometimes not everything is on the same layer, and so if you decide to change the color scheme, that could affect glow layers and rim lights and color holds, and it's not as easy as that sounds, honestly. So it's a bit of a pain. And, you know, so it's probably better that I do that shit on my own time. Yeah, it's, it's so easy. I think that's the thing that really doesn't, doesn't work so much for me and my, just the way my, br my brain works. Um, when there are no limitations, which in my opinion, digital coloring, there are no set limitations. The only limitation is your knowledge and your skill, right? There are certain things that are a little bit more 
you know, there are limitations in watercolor and airbrush and oil paint and all of those different things. And having that safety net of, well, this is traditionally painted, for some reason works with my brain. Whereas digital coloring, and this is just something I need to kind of work on in my own head that I'm not such a horrible taskmaster to myself and have no sympathy or understanding or realistic approach to anything, but traditional doesn't seem to give me that mental torment that digital does just because in digital there are no limits, you know? There, there's, there's the digital painters and then there's the, the, so much that they can do and so much range. Like you can make it look like an oil painting or you can make it look a little bit more like a digitally airbrushed piece. And all of the mediums are merging together into one piece that you can't necessarily do in a traditional media platform. You can't mix watercolor and oil together unless you do that in a very specific way. <laughs> so I think it kind of fucks with my head. All that to say. You need to go to a thrift store, buy some old oil paintings, and airbrush some sweet, sweet dinosaurs all over them. Art is a journey. <laughs> It, tr it sure is. Digital coloring needs a lot of time. Because I'm new, but I love my traditional so much. That's also why. Oh, did I hit 420? <laughs> F-bomb 420. Whoop, whoop. You get it? Thank you, Jen. All right, I'm going to take a break from Lady Death herself. I know the number is high. <laughs> I've really got to get to my penance stream. I'm well aware. All right, let's work on some of the skulls for a little while. I don't know. I'm, I'm bored. I want to work on the skulls. Light them up. What are we lighting? Oh, I see. <laughs> yeah, I should try to think a little bit more. So I'm doing some of the big blocks of, of black right now. And then I'll go back in and, you know, add in a few little chisely bits of detail. But for the most part, these are going to be colored black. Um, we're going for black obsidian, so I'm going to just fill in all these areas. It's actually going to be a heavily uh, dark, dark piece compared to my usual. I don't really fill in much with black, usually. So this is going to be interesting. At this rate, Dawn's going to be doing two penance streams back to back. <laughs> Thank you, Wilberto. It will be like a way laid back penance now. Yeah.
think somebody in chat will like that suggestion. A limited edition Boop Squad print. Ah. <laughs> Her penance should be drawing chains. These are all excellent suggestions. Maybe I should just start a thread in Boop Squad for penance, penance stream ideas. What you guys think I need to do to show proper penance. So I'm thinking of obsidian of a, of, as like a smoother stone than you know, your usual gravelly rock kind of situation. Obsidian is a little bit smoother, even in the way that it breaks and cracks, to me, I feel is has a bit more of a smooth appear appearance to it. Um, and so I'm gonna try to, to emulate that in how I draw the skulls even, um, because they wouldn't be too crackly, etchy, looking I think does that make sense at all TV hello draw dude for penance I've already done the drawn men finish a bottle of plum wine and eat spicy chips oh man you know what I feel like the older I get, the less I can handle alcohol. <laughs> Jagged shards. Thank you, Jack. Wilberto, thank you. Her penance should be a commission for everyone currently on stream. Well, that'll take me years. There's 108 people collectively on the stream. Which actually, you know, that this is the, I have a lot more people than usual. Thank you all so much for joining in. For proper penance, you have to put my name to the head of your wait list. <laughs> Plus one Hail Mary. <laughs> Whoa. I get extremely intimidated by having to put a lot of uh, black ink on a piece. I find I find straight up black ink just because it's so it's so black and white in whether you're right or wrong in where you place it. If that makes sense, like you really have to know your shadows. You have to be confident in where you place the shadow. Um, and I'm not necessarily super confident in that. And um, so this is, this is a good exercise for me in just kind of, you know, not overthinking it, not worrying about it too much and just kind of making up my mind on the fly. Worst case scenario, if I feel that it's incorrect, I can either ink over it and just change the shape of the black ink on this portion or something, you know? Be kind to that particular skull. <laughs> ah. Thank you, Jason. Love you too, Rox. If gibberish comes from me, just know that it's my cat and I'm not paying attention because I'm drawing. <laughs> totally understand that, Nikki. What is your opinion about Brazilian artists? I think they're amazing. I. Everybody's awesome. Anyone who's an artist and who is attempting to do that, mad respect. <laughs> Ghost pepper challenge for penance. Just kidding, please don't. Well, I was thinking about doing the, um, the, uh, the bean boozled ones, but the spicy version.
For my art, according to my fiance, is my miniatures painting. Nice. Don't die of spice. I do. I, I can't say I'm very good at handling spicy stuff, but I do like a, a, enough. You know, I can handle some spiciness. I gotta say though, my my ramen that I buy did did um it gives me a run for my money on my ability to handle spicy food. She did get her skull earrings. They're right there, Carmen. Anika Crit, hello, welcome to the stream. I'm sorry if I read your name incorrectly. I'm not uh I'm not sure if I read it right. But welcome, it's great to have you here. Thirty minutes till food. Thank you, Keeman. So I'm not going to do uh, what would I what I normally would when you've got a, a black element like this and then it's placed inside or near something else that is also black. You usually do like a thin white outline to kind of show where they they're joining or where they meet up so that you can differentiate between all the different shapes. But in this case, I don't want to differentiate. I want it to look like the skulls are all kind of seeping in and out from the obsidian stone um, chair thing. Throne. <laughs> Do you want to say your artwork? Ah, thank you. That is so awesome, Vipe VR. Welcome to the stream for starters, and that's great if you feel inspired to draw. That makes me so happy. Dawn and other Canadians can do spicy, they just have to apologize after. the welcome I used to draw years and years ago can only stick figures now well it's great to have you here fight VR I was thinking about doing some ink work what do you recommend oh and you asked about Instagram yes I do have Instagram it's just my name Don McTagg hopefully you can see it somewhere on twitch on how to spell it oh thank you Steve um, all right, thinking of doing some ink work, what do you recommend? Now, it really depends what, 
kind of ink work you mean. Right now I'm using the Tombow Calligraphy br Brush Pens um, and they work out really well. Um, so I really, um, I really enjoy these. Usually I don't care for brush pens, but these ones work rather well. So I want some of these uh, to look kind of like they're, the stone is morphing into the skull a little bit. So I need to, I need to make them not look too stuck on. Like this one is very prominent, but it's also there. Um, it's also there as an armrest, so I'm not kind of, dragging the chin into the stone um, but I'm going to try it with some of the others and if in the end I feel like I should drag this chin into stone as well then I can. Oh thank you Matthew. See you later Stanley. Miss McFlox, hello, welcome to the stream today. Grenado, hello, welcome to the stream. Twitch is acting up again. Oh, Rob is acting up again. If I feel like maybe I want to add a little bit more white detailing in here, I can also just come in with a white uh, jelly roll pen or even maybe some acrylic paint. Because some things it's just easier to bring back those line details in um, that you can control just by drawing it in as opposed to having to work in the negative and color around the line, just draw the line, right? Um, so I may come back in with some white afterwards. We shall see. Welcome from Mexico. It's great to have you here.
links are allowed. Yes, Jason. Thank you, Dr. Dark. All good. Only drawing anything that's allowed on a Super Boob Squad page? No. It's any kind of creative thing that you are working on, you know? Um, or if you've got anything that you've added to your collection. Um, specifically like me collection stuff though, like if you've collected something of mine and you just got it or whatever, there is another page that is run by Carmen and it's called Top Fans of Don McTagg Art, I think. And that's, um, that's where, you know, collectors, if you've gotten a few books, if it's Don related, then yeah, you can put it in Top Fans if you would like. Oh, but the fan art already posted the screen grab, it looks like. Oh, and so did Rob. Skull locations. You have been asked to post your ceramics. I really enjoyed those, Steve. We still haven't seen your um, your bonsai trees. Unless you posted them and somehow I missed them or have become very forgetful as an individual. Otherwise, I feel like we do have a massive lack of bonsai trees that we were promised. We definitely need the top fan link. Okay, let me see if I can locate the top fan link. All right, let's go to top fan, top, yes, yeah, so top fans of Don McTagg art. I, I don't know if this works. You have to, it's a private group, so Carmen has to allow you to enter. Oh, thank you, Rob. <laughs> I'm too slow. Philip knows that that's what I would want to have is a triple dessert, like a three course dessert meal. Yes, please. There are many times when I'm at conventions where I'll just be like, you know what, I'm going to skip dinner and just have a giant ass dessert. You put in the request. Thank you, Zane. That was awesome, Jason. I thought it was hilarious. More of those types would be so fun. Top fans, not to be confused with only fans. That is correct. This is about art people. There's a whole thing about skipping the restaurant, skipping the dessert 
What does that mean? Skipping the money restaurant floor and going to the second floor for their desserts. Oh. That's true, Jason. You do have a very good point. Your skull is looking good. Why, thank you, Matthew. No, Jason, you have a good point. I was not in any way trying to diss OnlyFans. That's right. Always a judgment-free zone. <laughs> Dawn has only corners. <laughs> oh, the expensive restaurant. I see. Aw, thank you, Zane. That means a lot. Very much try to be not judgmental in any way. True, they do. Do you have a strong belief in cross-hatching? I don't, honestly, Keeman, and the reason why I don't have a strong belief in cross-hatching is because I'm not very good at it. <laughs> I'm, I'm not cross-hatching these because of the texture that I'm going for, though. I'm almost going for thicker ridges and shards in the stone as opposed to, I very much would say that my crutch in texture is thin cracks and lines. Um, so I'm trying to actually make this have the look that I'm going for, which is obsidian. Um, and so any of this stuff is just going to be the highlight outcroppings from the stone. I'm really going for something that is probably a little bit beyond my skill level, so I'm going to do my best. Oh no, I'm sorry, Jay Allen. I'm not trying to forget about you. There's so many comments. If you said something and I missed it, please repeat it. I don't see anything. Jay Allen, even though Lady Death is mine, would she always have to be drawn alone? Would Coffin ever allow you to add in other characters if you wanted, maybe in the background? Definitely, Jay Allen. I'm so sorry that I missed that comment. <laughs> Please feel free to post your question again if I happen to miss you. It's just it keeps scrolling and sometimes it scrolls and I completely miss it. Um, I have drawn covers with Lady Death where there's multiple characters. It just depends on the art note and what I'm requested to do. Um, so for the most part, my cover themes are Lady Death on her own or Hell Witch on her own, but I just recently finished a cover where the art, mo art note was Lady Death and Hell Witch together. Um, I know, you need to come to the fun side. Twitch is a little bit more the fun V, because um, Twitch is really set up more as a chatting room where you can hang out with people. Facebook is not quite set up that way, so please always feel free to join us on Twitch. You'll have more fun, I assure you. <laughs> Thank you, Keeman. <laughs> You're awesome, Devin. And I'm really sorry. I, uh, I have definitely been reminded that I need to not forget the, twi the Facebook people numerous times, and I'm so sorry. It is in the volume of messages from Twitch that the Facebook ones just get pushed up and I don't see them. 
What would you think about big brand crossover like Lady Death, IHOP, or Hell Witch Denny's? I have no response to that. I honestly don't know. <laughs> Ooh, fancy emotes. Come to the fun and naughty side. That's right, Rox. Thank you so much, Steve. Yet the Facebook viewers call us names. <laughs> I don't think there's much Lady Death fans. <laughs> Sounds like a Waffle Man crossover. Waffle Man Battle of the Breakfast Restaurants. That's right. All right, there are seven minutes left, and I would very much like to see if there's someone I can rate tonight. I'm just loading up Twitch. One moment. Oh wow, not very many people are live tonight. Babs is live again. Then a Waffle House crossover. Good night, what the fan art. Guys, thank you all so much for being here and for hanging out with me. Today has been really, really fun. You guys are truly the best. I am so grateful that you took your evening and hung out with me here. I will do my best to finish this up so that I can be live with you guys on um, Tuesday to do coloring. I will keep you all updated. If you're part of Boop Squad, you will be informed if for some reason I have to delay it, right? But let's go and give Babs Draws a raid. She's live, and I would love to go give her channel a raid. So I'm gonna get the raid going real quick. Raid Babs Draws. All right, so I'm getting that going. We will go raid Babs Draws, and I just want to wish you all a wonderful evening. Yes, uh, Jay Allen, let me see. I am seeing both Facebook and Twitch messages in the same window. Yes, that is correct. All right, so thank you everyone on Twitch for joining me to go show Babs Draws some love. I know there's more of you that can jump in on the stream, even for a few minutes. And everyone on Facebook, thank you for being here. Thank you for sharing my work and your comments. I love you all tons. I will catch you next time on Tuesday, hopefully. If not, I'll keep you updated. Mwah! I love you guys. Let's go raid. Have a wonderful week. Goodbye.